Bop. Uh, welcome, folks. We have a great show today. Very excited. We have an author, Q.T. Marlins. And what an interesting man he is, huh, Tone? Oh, I can't wait to see him again. He's got four new books out. Well, you know, they say variety is the spice of life. <laughs> yes. You okay there? Yeah, I'm trying my best. It's like a... <laughs> Uh, well, QT, you know, he says that he suffers from, or, or he actually uses the term, he's blessed with highly functioning association personality disorder. You know, it takes three people just to say that. <laughs> it takes three people to help you with your time. I need help. <laughs> How's well, that? Is it all right? You look fantastic. Huh? Very nice. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. QT Marlins and whoever he's bringing with him. Few hats. Uh, so, QT, you have all these books out. You have True Fish Stories, When the Ball Was Round, Colonel's Bullets in Mud. Yeah. This is such a handsome picture of you. I didn't know you were actually in the service. <laughs> yes, I was in the service. My name is Edmund Frillaby. And uh, I used to be Sir, but it was taken away from me. It was taken? Your I was title naughty. was taken? Well, yes, I was in the Khyber Pass and I was naughty. Um, this is. Uh, this is a book. It's, a, I think, a marvelous book. I, I hope they all read my, my, my book on humility. It's a, pr pretty much the one page. Um, <laughs> Colonel's Bullets in Mud. And, of course, this is me. I was, at the time, 15th Fusiliers. Mother and father were missionaries. They were beaten to death, and I went to war because of them. <laughs> and, uh, and I was a poor child. I loved the war because it gave me an opportunity to dress up. And, uh, <laughs> wonderful uniforms. Brightly colored, you see, and I felt important for the first time in my life. Yeah. You know, I noticed that you're highlighting Colonel's bullets in mud. Why the mud? I got a Victoria Cross for throwing the biggest mud pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Is that dear. the equivalent to the Purple Heart? I'm not a. Oh, aware. much more. Oh, much more. <laughs> no, it was equivalent to the uh, Congressional, your Congressional Medal of Honor. Oh, oh. Or the Victoria Cross. I met the Queen one time. You did? Mm -hmm. King was on holiday. <laughs> But uh, I, I met the queen, and very lovely, stuffy. Well, don't they teach you a demeanor? I mean, you're supposed to, gen you know, uh, bow and, and... I sat on her lap. <laughs> it's amazing how your mind works. You just go from uh, one personality to the other. <laughs> yes, you know... Oh, dear. Uh, Q.T. Marlin, that was, that was my pen name. My real name is Lamar Jean Gumler. Lamar? Lamar, yeah, I... I Lamar, how old are you? I'm 96. How do I look? Seriously, I can handle it. <laughs> huh? You look great. You look like a kid, uh -oh, really. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lamar, when was the last time... <laughs> when was the last time... <laughs> when was the last time you actually played ball? I'm not deaf. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I started playing ball. I, I, I came from a big family. There were 12 of us, six girls and, and six boys. Dad uh, fled after the fourth child. And your father left after the fourth child, but yet there were how many more after that? Whatever I said. <laughs> but uh, they were ugly. And uh, Dad didn't like ugly people, you know. God, I wish it, that stuff had stopped. Oh, that's all right. Well, I've turned it to the other hand. Oh. Hey. Well. well, you're 96 years old. Yeah, I mean, Lamar, you've got to understand that some things are going to go. Oh, I get uh, uh, a whole list of them. Uh, <laughs> these are all my own teeth, believe it or not. Wow. What do you attribute that to? Oh, uh, chewing on leather when I was confined. <laughs> In a prison or committed or well, let's call it a let's call it a, a, a rehab place. You know, the walls are higher than I bargained for. <laughs> yeah. But I don't understand the title. Well, when, when the, the ball was round, when was it not round? Is it? It's in my book here oh. somewhere. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, that's a very good question. <laughs> I, one I didn't bargain for. <laughs> well, at any rate, all of us played with rocks. And we'd paint them white and pretend and put little... My one sister, Emily Lee, put little stitches on, on them. She would paint the stitches on a rock? On to... a rock. And, of course, uh, I pitched. And, of course, you, if you, in those days, there weren't any, you know, uh, helmets. No headgear. I lost one brother that way. <laughs> His eyes went like this, and he was gone. We buried him uh, close to third base. <laughs> Uh, lovely tribute. And I don't know who we're going to talk to next. Fish. Fish. Besides me. <laughs> it's getting close to winter anyway. <laughs> true, true fish stories? Yeah. I think that's a clever title, because, you know, when you say fish stories, people assume it's a lie. Well, I, I lied so much down through the years about everything. And <laughs> the clergy just waved me off. <laughs> I'd go into a church or temple or tent. <laughs> Forget it, you liar. They told me. Now, God, God will handle a liar, you know? Sure. It, I was told this. By? A congregationalist. Oh. Uh, this is a pen name. <laughs> yes, yes, I realize that, because... My yeah. name's Archibald Munler. Oh. But QT makes me more important. There, there's a picture of me back here. Isn't that look? Oh, like, huh? Archibald, look at you. I don't think we can show that. Because, no, I don't yeah. think we can either. Yeah. Standing naked beside a marlin. But that's quite a big fish. <laughs> I, I, that's one thing. I, when I was to fish, I'd drink a lot, you know, and I... Because you're out there a long time. You sit there in a boat, and, uh, you know, you can go through a six-pack just moving away from the dock. <laughs> At any rate, I was out fishing in Manitoba just a year and a half ago, and my buddy was with me. Uh -huh. He was eating again and drinking. Oh, no. And I said, bless it, I'm on to something. I had a heavy duty. I had a, I had a 130 pound test, and I kept fighting it for five hours. You know what I pulled up? You'll never guess in your wildest. I thought it was probably a, it could have been a thousand pound black marlin, could have been a make, big make a white shark. It was a man. <laughs> And he was a skin diver. I never dreamed he was down that far. Was he alive? Well, he was until I got him to the surface. <laughs> I begged my buddy, who had been drinking again. That's another thing. Stop drinking when you're fishing. It's dangerous. He gaffed him. <laughs> and the guy's uh, mask fell off, and his tanks went back. His eyes were enlarged. <laughs> he come up looking like a frog man with an air hose in him. We got a good picture of him. Oh. That's there. That's Holding him by his feet. I saw there that. There you go. Yeah. What a catch. Thank you for coming on the show. It's been an experience. We had a chance to ad lib. It's not, it, not throwing stones at the writers. It's just saying, well, if you have that, that certain gift, if you have that chance, that opportunity, to really play. And then when they say there is no script, God, man, it's gold to somebody who's been working all their lives to just do 